Hello, this is Dr. Bossi uh, explaining the concept of laminotomy. Obviously, this is a model of the spine, back, front, up, down, bone, disc, bone, disc. This is the foramen. This is the central canal or uh, spinal canal. Spinal cord goes through and nerve roots are coming out. In the aging process, the degenerative process builds up tissue that narrow the space spinal canal which we call spinal stenosis or the foramen which called foraminal stenosis a traditional way of approaching this is removing practically lamina hence this is called laminectomy spinal process is removed and the lamina is removed then once the lamina and the spinal process are open like here we go and bite part of the facet here this structure here Or here to open the hole where the nerves are coming out now this has been a standard of care for many years many decades actually and what it achieved it just give neural structure including the nerve root and spinal canal more space obviously uh, there is a reason for this bony structure to be there they provide stability and I just had a patient today that got a laminectomy and foraminotomy but uh, four months after the symptoms returned because by us removing this bone, we are reducing the stability and increasing the um, load on the other areas. And by removing as well the attachment of the muscle to all of this, we are making spine less stable and weaker. Practically, um, even though patient get initial improvement, eventually the spine fails. This patient doubled the scoliosis just four months after the laminectomy, foraminotomy, and facetectomy that was done in the old-fashioned way. What we call now um, inspired spine laminotomy process, we actually start like a minimally invasive macrodiscectomy. A tube is placed on top of the level of interest. We do not cut the muscle, we do not devascularize the facet, we do not cut the, uh, any kind of bone that muscles are attached to. We just remove very small part of the bone to get access, but then, which is a very intricate and uh, very technically challenging uh, surgery, but this can be learned with some practice, and I'm going to show it here. After we remove the initial part of the bone here, we then change the tube and change the angle like that. Practically, we undercut the lamina without removing the lamina completely or removing the muscle to attaching attachment to that. We undercut it. So we open up the spinal canal. Then we literally go to the foramen on the other side, which practically with this angle, right there and remove all the tissue that push on the nerve root that is on the other side. So practically we go from one side, we open the central canal, foramen on the same side, foramen on the other side and achieve a total decompression by an incision that is less than uh, an inch, practically two thirds of an inch and advantage is that all the muscles are still attached. The facet that is here is not devascularized, so this lives and provides stability. Minimal amount of the bone is removed, but that minimal amount of the bone are exactly where it matters. Without uh, attachment of the muscle to be removed, practically um, what we are achieving a complete Lam result of a complete laminectomy and bilateral foraminotomy with the incision that is half an inch long without the stabilizing effect of the laminectomy and this is the inspired spine laminotomy concept.